Okay, so I'm going to go over some stretching now. So I usually go from the top down. So the first one, you're going to lean your head to one side. You don't necessarily have to hold it, but lean it there. Push down with the opposite hand. Okay, you're going to hold each stretch for 20 seconds. So do that one and then the other side. Next one is arm across. Make sure your shoulder is down. Okay, and then switch. And then hold your elbow, go over your head. Okay, after that one, you lie down. So both shoulders are on the ground. Legs go to one side. If you don't feel a stretch, extend that top leg up. Make sure that your shoulder stays on the ground. Okay? So next one is actually for your glutes. So you're going to lift your leg up so that it's in a figure four pattern. Okay? And you can either sit there or you can lie down and pull towards you. It's up to you which one you prefer. Okay? Obviously switch legs again. Both need to be stretched. One after that is for your groin. So you're going to be sitting here. You can hold your feet if you want. Idea is to either push your knees down or you can pull your belly button forward. Okay? Next one, the line of straddle. You're going to try to get your belly button to touch the floor. Okay? The idea is not to reach as far as possible because that will just promote the curving your spine. Um, after that one, you can lie down or stand up for this and you're going to pull your quad back um, by grabbing your ankle and you hold that one. If you don't feel a stretch here, push your hips forward and pull your ankle towards your butt. Okay? So then you can do that standing up instead. The next ones, I'm going to get you to move the camera over this way. You want to take your head so that just your pinky is on the wall here and then you're going to turn away from it okay and that one will stretch out your chest and then with your elbow you want it to go as high on the wall as possible and get your toes high up on the wall as well so this one is double stretch you're stretching your lats by trying to get both shoulders to touch the wall and you're stretching your calf by having your toes up on the wall okay so that's a very basic stretching 20 seconds each one i know i didn't follow that going through these Make sure you do both sides too, which I also didn't follow. Those are the important stretches. One last one I want to go over, because it's very effective in getting your squat position better, is that you're going to grab both of your feet and you're going to push your knees out while your feet stay flat on the floor. Okay? So notice that I'm not making my feet go wider. I'm keeping them in my squat position while my knees go out. So those are the stretches. 